Okay, so question seven. What do you do based titration laboratory experiments? Okay, so when we have an acid based titration, the goal is to determine the concentration of an acid or a base. And to do that, we neutralize that solution. Uh, neutralizing neutralizing it with a standard solution of acid or base. So these standard solutions have a known concentration. So depending on if you're trying to determine the concentration of an acid, that means we neutralize it with a standard solution of base. And on the other hand, if we try to determine the concentration of a base, that means we neutralize it with the standard solution of an acid. Okay, so when we perform acid-based titrations, we slowly add the, sol the standard solution uh, to our unknown. And we know when to stop by using a pH indicator. Let's try to draw out the reaction. So let's say we had an unknown concentration of acid in our flask. In this burette, we have a volume of base. And before we start adding the standard solution of base, we want to take note of the volume that we started at. So this is called initial volume. Okay, so once we take note of the initial volume, we can start adding the base dropwise into our unknown acidic solution. So, like I mentioned earlier, a pH indicator is used to monitor the progress. So typically the acid will be colorless, but we can add a pH indicator such as like phenylphthalene, which turns pink once uh, the solution is uh, neutralized and when it turns more basic. 
So when we get like a light pink solution, then we know that we can stop the reaction. So we can stop adding more base. And then we want to end up finding out the final volume of base in the burette. So we know exactly how much base was added to the acid in order for it to be neutralized. And then from there, we can calculate the concentration of our unknown by using concentration is equal to number of moles over volume. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Titration is a technique to determine the concentration of an unknown solution. In any titration experiment, there are several parts of the titration setup. The titrant, a solution of known concentration, which is added to another solution whose concentration has to be determined. So the analyte is the solution whose concentration has to be determined. These substances will react, and the reaction is an acid-base reaction, which results in salts and water. During titration experiments, the use of indicators is essential because this will tell you the end point of the titration experiment. Indicators are ch substances that change in color in response to chemical change caused by change in concentration in hyd hydrogen and hydronium ions in the solution, simply change in pH. So we can also have indicators um, that depend it on the potential of the solution, but that's a different story altogether. Like they don't change in color. Once they get to a certain potential, then that's how we know how to stop the titration. But anyways, uh, the common materials and equipment to be used in any titration experiments are the acid, base, indicator, burette, clamp and stand, beakers, flask, safety goggles. Okay, so here they have their diagram, much better than mine. They have the burette clamp and the stand, and then they show our analyte, which has unknown concentration in the flask, and the known concentration in the burette. Step one, set up the equipment. Two, fill the burette with known concentration of acid or base. Three, take a burette reading from the top of the meniscus. So this is the initial reading. Four, place a flask with unknown concentration of acid and base. Five, add the appropriate number of drops of indicator. So it's usually like one or two drops. Six, slowly add the titrant to the flask while constantly stirring in a gently in a circular motion. Seven, keep adding the titrant until a visible color change happens. The lighter the color change, the better. Step eight, take the final reading of the burette. Nine, calculate the pH of the titrant. So this solution is correct.